before the election. Spoken completely. There yeah, are those of us who, don't, who oppose the, the reappointment of uh, uh, Mamouya. The person who nominated him for, for appointment is a member of Tinubu's camp. So what are you expecting? Success? Here yeah, in the back seat, Mahmoud worked on that UK as a technical secretary of third fund. So what you're having in the back seat is that APC, SDP and others are, are contesting the election, not against PDP. What I just told you is what is happening everywhere. It is not as if, yes, he may come into Bima and look my scam because everybody believes in peace. And obviously, since I come here, I come from there, since he comes from here, there will be total calm and peace for people to food. The other scheme she saw here was when they suspected that the result was fake. And we told them whether the result sheet was fake or not, don't touch anybody. Vote. Carry the fake result sheet back to our next. Yes, sir. 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 I'm not the president. Advice, I said. No advice. I've, I've spoken to everybody concerned on this issue before the election. Spoken completely. There yeah, are those of us who, don't, who oppose the, the reappointment of uh, uh, Mamouya. The person who nominated him for, for appointment is a member of Tinubu's camp. So what are you expecting? Success? Here yeah, in the back seat, Mahmoud worked on that UK as a technical secretary of third fund. So what you're having in is that APC, SDP and others are, are contesting the election, not against PDP. So the former minister of transportation, Roti Michibike Amechi, has finally exposed uh, Buhari, INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud. He said that Tinubu was the one who picked Professor Mahmoud to be INEC chairman. You could imagine that. And also that this INEC chairman worked under Yes, on weekend in River State before he was appointed INEC chairman as executive secretary of Third Fund. So, if he had, this man worked under Yes, on weekend as executive secretary of Third Fund, why should he now be made the INEC chairman? So, he is a card carry member of APC. No wonder the presidential election was hugely and largely manipulated. And we could see what is already going on at the gubernatorial and governorship elections. A man who Tinubu and his men handpicked to become the, you know, the, the leader or the chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission. They say INEC is independent. INEC is not even in, in, independent. INEC is dependent on APC and their leaders. So he was picked by yes, uh, 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 Tinubu and his men. And of course, we, you should not even be surprised to you know, see what is going on. Because when you listen to Ruti Michibike Amechi's statement, he said that Nigerians are contesting against INEC and the police. And that is true. So many polling units in Lagos where voters are you know, harassed, beaten. The policemen, we are, they are just onlookers. They are there, they are policemen, but they are not policing. They are not protecting the people they are meant to protect. So Nigerians actually, we are contesting against INEC and the police. There, are, there is a, a case of a, a policeman trying to snatch, I think, you know, Ojo in Lagos. Policemen, their aim is to just snatch the ballot paper, you know, take a neck ad hoc staff away. Of course, for them to complete their mission of manipulating the votes. But the voters resisted them. It's, I don't even know why we always wake up late to some of these evils that are going on in Nigeria. One, the, a, a man who introduced beavers. Mr. Okafo from Anambra State was transferred to Enugu as just an administrator. He was the one that introduced by modal uh, voter verification. He was the one that introduced it. He was the one that brought it up and developed it. But six months of the election, he was removed. And nobody noticed it. Nobody protested. And now we see all the outcome of a uh, presidential election. And then we are now sure. Why are we waking up whenever it is late? We always wake up at the late time. When we should have protested? When, uh, uh, because people were circulating, the people you know gave us the alert, but nobody was interested. And now that happened. Another four years is coming, and they will still plan it, cook it up, and nobody will bother to protest. Nobody will bother to kick against their principle and their plans until they hatch them. So Nigerians voted, you know, the Nigerians are con contesting or they are contesting against INEC and the police. And until this thing is changed, 
there can never be any credible election in Nigeria. 